How to build a successful John Component Focused Factory Linux for Foundations? Before even start, you have to learn several blueprints in order to build all required station modules. If you don't know how, check top right corner suggested video. So, the list of required blueprints consists in Drone Component Production, Scanning Array Production, Microchip Production. Cool part production, engine part production, silicon wafer production, refined metal production, graphene production, antimatter cell production, energy cell production, container L storage, liquid M storage, solid M storage, free M 6S dock, one peer dock. Habitat L, Habitat M. This factory requires hydrogen, metal, or and silicon raw materials. Using resource probes, find a sector that has them all. Also, the most important thing is that it needs to be placed near the superhighway in order to be able to have as much cleanse as possible. Once find the best sector that meets the requirement, place down the plot. Normal sizes will be probably too low to put in this factory, but start with it and later you can increase it how much you need. John Components is one of commodities that takes a lot of cargo volume. As a consequence, to maximize the profit, you need to allow large and extra large ships to dock in order to exchange commodities with the station. In fact, to cover these needs, you have to start with one pier dock. Follows the free m 6 docks that also allow the entry for your and NPC medium traders. Plus, it has the manager's office and your miners will be medium size as well. Time to add the container size L in order to store all produced wars. Follows the energy cell production that will power up your factory. At this point, it's time to add a liquid M storage for hydrogen and methane. Then the respective refiners called antimatter cell and graphene productions. Next, you need a solid M storage for silicon and ore, followed by respective refiners called refining metals and silicon wafer production. At this point, it's time for some tier 2 factories. This consists in hull part production, microchip production, engine part production, and scanning arrays production. In order to finish the basic building plan, time to add the drone components production. Also, to begin the building process, it's time to assign a builder that will construct the station. Leave enough funds to cover the building resources costs, then confirm the building process. At this point, you have to wait a lot of time in order to see the build result. To speed up this process, I highly recommend to use set advice. If you don't know what is it and how to craft it, check top right corner suggested video. Remember that you need to perform some key action after some modules are built and they are. Once free m 6 doc is done to assign the manager to the station. After container L is ready to restrict trading with the other faction for antimatter cell, graphene, refining metal, silicon wafer, engine parts, cool parts, microchips, and scanning arrays. Also remember to do the same with hydrogen and methane when liquid M storage is built. While when the respective antimatter cell and graphene production is done to assign 10 gas miners to the station. If you need some help in order to buy ships, check the right corner suggested video. Next action is needed when solid air storage is ready, and it means that you have to restrict trades for ore and silicon. Follows after the respective refined metal and silicon wafer production is complete to assign 10 solid miners to the station. To finish the action needed for these stations, once everything is done, assign three medium traders to the station as well. Time to upgrade to advanced version, but before I highly recommend to place down a Habitat L in order to start accumulate workforce. This will be useful for the final version. So, the advanced upgrade consists in add 
1. Refined Metal Production 2. Scanning Arrays Production and 5. Drone Components Productions After the upgrade is built based on maximum factory performance thanks to the workforce, for the final version you can add 1 Scanning Array and 3 Drone Components Productions. At this point, after checking the optimal workforce, you can understand that to host 6270 workers you need another 5 Habitat L and 1 Habitat M. Build this, the station will be done and fully functional. If you had some problems following this guide, you need to learn the station building basics. You can use the top right corner suggested video in order to learn this knowledge. Also, if you want to learn how to build other successful focused factors, check the right corner suggested playlist. Anyway, drones are commonly used in our station and big ships for defense, cargo upload and download, mining and repairing. As a result, the higher request is one of the best factors for efficiency in earning profit after the food. Say that, time for some calculations. Remember that these calculations are valid until patch 2.0 come out. Once it happened, at the end of this video you will find a link to the new calculations. Anyway, the basic version building cost is over 30 million, providing a production for a value near 4 million, characterized by 280 energy cells, 2980 antimatter cells, 1490 graphene, 2696 refined metal, 840 silicon wafers, 420 engine parts, 820 hull parts, 420 microchips, 120 scanning arrays and 360 drone components. Over 904 millions of profit coming from drone components. The expenses are characterized by raw material, but this will be provided by miners for a value near 2 millions. As a result, this version profit is near 2 million as well. The advanced version building cost is over 77 million, providing a production for a value over 7 million, characterized by 2980 antimatter cells, 1490 graphene, 1496 refining metals, 120 silicon wafers, 120 energy parts, 520 hull parts, 120 microchips, and 2160 drone components. Over 5.4 million coming from drone components alone. Expenses rises as well due to the second refined metal production that will double the ore requirements. Also, you will have a deficit in energy cells, but because antimatter cell production won't work at max efficiency, it won't be a problem. As a result for this version, the refined profit is over 5 million. The final version building cost is over 130 million and providing a production for a value over 12 million, characterized by 760 energy cells, 3673 antimatter cells, 1936 graphene, 2096 refined metals, 288 silicon wafers, 17 engine parts, 534 hull parts, 46 microchips, 110 scanning arrays, and 4050 drone components. Over 10 million of profit coming from drone components alone. The expenses value rises this time due to food and medical supply costs spent for workers, rising the overall expenses near 3 million. As a result, for this version, the profit is over 9.4 million. Probably is one of the best stations at level of the Clytronic production one. Highly probably you can build more than two of them as the profit efficiency will keep to the high level. This is because drones are the most required thing in the game due to its multiple utility and the fact it can be destroyed as well.